Let's say that driver needs to come forward. A deadly hit and run in Glenview. The victim here, a 59 year old who was out for a bike ride early this morning. Nate Rogers spoke with Glenview residents who knew the victim. He joins us now. Nate. That's right, Natalie and Tia. The victim's family declined our request um, for an in-person interview, but they did speak to me via text and in through the window of their home. They told me so many amazing things about their father, the fact that he'd worked two jobs just so all four of his children could go to college. Their father was on his way to work this morning on his bicycle, but he never arrived. I just can't believe it. It's so sad. I can't believe it. Longtime neighbors, a wife and four children in pure disbelief tonight. 59 year old Trinidad Salgado now dead after a hit and run. I want to say that driver needs to come forward. Just a horrific scene. Uh, what looks like it used to be an electric bike or something and uh, debris scattered all over. So Gotho was struck riding his bike around 3 a.m. Saturday here in Glenview near Sanders Road and South Parkway Drive. When police arrived, they found Salgado's hat, his shoes, and bike scattered across the road. According to the police report, no vehicle was found at the scene. The father of four died at Lutheran General Hospital. Well, this is devastating. Someone, someone was killed. I was about to cry this morning. Uh, I meant after I figure this out. They use this as a drag strip all the time. You know, people drive way too fast at nighttime. Police are now asking for the driver to come forward. Not a lot of information about the investigation released so far. Salgado is being celebrated tonight as a devout husband, hard worker, and the best neighbor on the block. A family man. His house is beautiful. He helped the neighbors. 59 year old Trinidad Salgado being remembered tonight as a devout family man, one who loved cooking and he took care of everybody's garden on their block. If you know anything about this case, about the driver involved, please give Glenview Police a call. We're live in downtown Nate Rogers, Fox 32, Chicago. So tragic. All right, thanks so much, Nate.